Okay. Yeah, it's just fun. <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm, uh, I'm John and I'm a junior. I'm Claude and I'm a freshman. I'm Kara and I'm a freshman. I'm Lindsay, I'm a junior. And, and we we're are from Mill South. South. <laughs> okay, and this is Generation Z. I'm, I'm your, your typical, typical Generation Z, Z high school, school student. student. Clorox consuming hooligan by day and a Tide Pod dealer at night. My hair looking more bleached than the liquid I drink. But don't mind me and my long leather coat that immediately makes me a school shooter. Don't mind my large figure that makes me fat. And don't mind my large bifocals that keep my vision adjusted. <laughs> I'm, your typical, I'm your typical Generation Z high school student in a world and how to buy sexually deviant toaster ovens. A special snowflake whose gender is an attack helicopter crying because the world is divided in shades of pink and blue. Categories encapsulating those which are other pink, pink girl, girl, blue boy. Blue boy jokes that he sexually identifies as a toast oven once I tell him that my gender experience is beyond their binary system. Pink girl tells me that there's only two genders and to go to hell. You're completely right. There's only two genders. Spaghetti, Spaghetti brain, brain girls and waffle brain boys. Like my health teacher said. With help from the administration, you too can find someone's existence based on a birth certificate. In an, an administration, administration so useless that it can't solve a bullying issue, but sure loves to blame it for everything. An, an administration, administration so helpless that it'll only make change the ostracization of those deemed too divergent to live. I'm your typical Generation Z high schooler, and I'm scared of school shooters. People are making jokes and looking about looking like a school shooter, and it terrifies me. While in the cafeteria, I hear the screaming of the crowd and I flinch because what if it's something else? I don't go to pep rallies because I think they could be an easy target. In January of 2011, my principal came on the intercom saying we're going into a code red, a lockdown. We don't get much information, just that something's going on at Millard South. I was sitting under a table, my second grade teacher reading us Lemonade War, afraid of what could possibly be happening to my brother. I could have lost him once before. I don't want to deal with that terror again. The teacher finished the book. I don't remember how long we were there, but it was long enough. It will always be long enough. I'm your typical Generation Z student. And I'm terrified that I'm going to die. So I make jokes about my mortality while clutching pins like tasers. I casually participate in troublesome activities like starting revolutions and participating in walkouts while never obtaining those rumored participation trophies. The student the leaders sitting idly by in their classrooms as their peers fall from lack of legislation. Why? Why are they so aggressive? Why? Why don't we just talk about kindness? Why? Why should we stand up and make a change? Students wake up in the morning not knowing whether they're going to learn, learn about death, death tolls or become, become a death toll. toll. Tell me why learning the square root of pi is more beneficial than talking about the never-ending violence, violence that plagues this country. Tell me why killing ourselves has become a joke. Tell me why ingesting laundry detergent is preferable to walking out of school. Stop, Stop caring more about your rifles and start caring about your children. children.